good afternoon. Tabe and Price. And <clears throat> today we're going to be talking to you about a number of things. Uh, I'm going to begin with talking about increases to our system limits and migrating to Jane 7.1. And I'm going to hand over to Bob Davis to talk about our ODBC enhancements, otherwise known as ad hoc, ad hoc indexes. Then over to Nick Scott to talk about dynamic properties in Jane 7.1 and our improvements to those. Have a bit of a break. Then back to Bob to talk about our implementation of REST web services. Then you'll hear from Jared about some database enhancements that we've put in. And then back to me for just a few of our favorite features. Right. We've had, historically, we've had some hard limits in Jane. The number of classes has been about 18,000, the highest instance ID. You're, of course, all programmers, so you'll know that this number is 2 to 32 minus 1. Number of sub-objects, sub we've got uh, 255 sub-objects for each object, and that includes blobs and slobs. Blobs and slobs, you can have 255 of, and you can also have 255 exclusive collections. And the identifier. Lines. And an identifier is any class name, any method name, property name, and that includes forms and controls. The instance ID. Sorry. Now, as technology improves and as Jade systems get older, people run into these limits. It starts being a small impediment. There are workarounds currently, but it's not ideal. In Jade 7, we address the instance ID issue. Now, the maximum instance ID you can have is a number with twice as many digits, and good luck hitting that limit. It should take you a couple of thousand years. One of the many very interesting things you do with Jade is to ge generate Jade code programmatically, some of you anyway. And not just Jade code, but whole Jade classes and Jade schemas. Essentially, dynamically generating your model to meet your requirements. I'm sorry. And um, when you dynamically generate code, Often, you, you, you'll run into these things, sorry. One of the things we've done is we've increased the number of class, classes you can have to about a million. That, we think, will be enough for most of you. Now, you're all developers. You would have seen class IDs being displayed in the, in the IDE before. So any class number you see under a million, that's going to be essentially your class. There is a small range for root schema classes. Anything you see above 4 million is going to indicate that the object is a transient, and anything above 12 million will indicate that the object is a shared transient. Increase the number of sub-objects that you can have. You can now have about 65,000 sub-objects on any object. That's 65,000 blobs and slobs plus 65,000 exclusive collections, and 65,000 dynamic property clusters, which you'll hear more about later. If you need more than 65,000, we've also increased the maximum identifier length that you can have. This is a feature I know some of you will be very happy to see. It means that you will be able to develop m more meaningful, you've got greater flexibility, greater ease to develop uh, meaningful naming conventions. It can be difficult sometimes to squeeze seven or eight words into the 30 character limit. 
as I'm sure many of you have noticed before. But we don't expect you to use 100 characters necessarily. It, your code could become quite unwieldy if you do. Autocomplete will, of course, handle it. Uh, it it's marvelous for dynamically generated code. But we just, we just wanted to give you the flexibility. Ah, just give you a small demonstration. Okay, I've got my Apple class. I just check that you can see that, right? That's class number 2058, and I'll create some instances. Right, so as I said before, you can see that the persistent class ID is fairly low, what you would expect. The transient class ID is above 4 million, and the shared transient is above 12 million. And it's, it's just quite simple. Schema's got quite a long name. <coughs> this is just going to make it easier for you. And uh, I'll just create a class quickly. So you can see having autocomplete complete those long names for you is going to be better than typing them in every time. Right. Okay. 